messy entryway. All right, you ready? Nella, let's go. Good girl. So we are going to work on her being outside. So when she's out here, I'm gonna take a few of her kibbles. I want a few more than that. Good girl. Yes. I'm gonna just scatter them, shut the door, and come back inside. A trick that you can do um, to start getting, if you don't have a good view of her without her seeing you, or if she gets too focused on you. Um, hang on. Before she finishes, I didn't throw many out there. So I don't know how many she's eaten, but before she finishes, yes! I'm gonna go out and toss more. I don't want her to finish and get anxious. I want to say yes while she's still hunting, being quiet, pay that, throw more. Anyway, um, but if you don't have good view of her without her seeing you and you need to cheat, use your iPhones. You can set one up outside where you FaceTime and watch from inside to kind of keep an eye on her. What I'm looking for is while she's hunting and distracted, I'm gonna randomly go out and reward. I'm gonna vary the time. So right now, it's gonna be every, pretty much before she finishes the kibble, however long that is, right? Um, then I'm gonna just start trying to push a little bit longer and longer where it's a couple minutes before I throw a few pieces, um, five minutes before I throw a few more pieces, but slowly build that time. In the beginning, I want her hunting while we're paying, right? She's still hunting, I'm gonna say yes, Yes, and pay just by throwing out those kibbles. But over time, I'm gonna wait, once she's done hunting, I'm gonna wait a minute or two after she's done hunting. Go out, pay, let her hunt some more, wait a minute after she's done hunting, go out, pay, wait two minutes and double it. So in the beginning, I want you really focused on longer hunting times until you get up to about five minutes of her hunting. And then you're gonna work on times between the hunts. Where she, oh, good girl. Where she finishes hunting, has to wait a little bit of time, and then you reward. If once you get to the point where you are re rewarding in between the hunts, I want you to notice if you try to go for a minute, but she's kind of starting to get anxious at 30 seconds, you're going to start going out at 30 seconds and paying a few times and then 45 seconds, slowly build her up. First few days is just get her while she's hunting. When you start, yes, rewarding. I shouldn't have paid that when she looked at me. That was bad. <laughs> I just got done working with the dog where I paid a lot of eye contact. I should not have paid her for looking at me. The goal is not paying attention to me. Um, I'm rambling. I just got done doing a lot of explaining in one video uh, for another dog that I'm training. And my brain is kind of tired. But first goal for first few days is just rewarding her while she's hunting. And then you're going to switch up that goal to waiting a few seconds after she hunts, then going out rewarding and slowly building up that time. My goal right now is just for her to not care that I'm not out there with her, not really pay attention to me. Yes, so she's starting to slow down her hunt. Yes. <laughs> not really care that she's out there. Now, if all of a sudden she starts having a tizzy fit, barking at my door, I can do one of two things. I can go collect her, bring her to her crate, and just kind of set her up. No, nope, you bark, you go away. Because she's barking because she wants to be part of whatever it is you're doing, right? She got FOMO. So a punisher of that would be, well, you gotta go away. You still can't be part of the team, but you can't bark outside. Got neighbors. <laughs> You could also go and give a verbal correction, that big firm no, um, a bit of bonk on the door as you're going out to kind of create a bit of a bigger correction for her. You gotta kinda pick what's gonna be more punitive for her in that moment. Yeah. 
have neighborhood dogs barking right now. I don't know if you can hear it. Yes. I can hear it, so I'm going to go pay that. And this is, she's working right now for about one little, a rounded scoop of her food. But this is about five minutes of hunting time, right? That's kind of what I'm going for in the beginning, and then I can bring her in. So I'm going to let her finish up this food, and I'm going to bring her in. Um, I want to bring her in while she's still really enjoying the game, right? I don't want her to get bored of this or get too stressed right because she's remember stress stacks it accumulates so we're not out there there are dogs barking there are my neighbors coming in and out different smells so even though she's hunting she might also be building some stress so she did really well for this like six minute video that we're at right now um, I don't want to push it. I want her to leave this wanting to play this game even more next time we go outside. And I'll push it to like maybe 8, 10 minutes depending on how she does. But I'm going to let her finish up. She's on one right there. There's another one she's sniffing. Nope. Alright. Good girl, Nella. Come. Yes! And I saved a few for the recall and good job, girlfriend.